Grand Rapids reached out to the veterans in their community by hosting a career fair made specifically for their needs. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us why we could be seeing more events like this one in the future. The first step is walking through the door, then a handshake and an exchange of a resume. The Veteran Career Fair is a way for employers to get together as well as the job seekers to network and develop a rapport. This career fair in Grand Rapids was tailored specifically to men and women in uniform. It's meant to do more than just find them a job. It's finding a job that has a purpose. Our main goal was is to provide jobs that gave great benefits, better paying jobs. More than 20 agencies from all over the state were at the event today, hoping to employ vets with unique skills you'd only find in the armed forces. Veterans bring a wide variety of uh, skills, anywhere from basic communication skills, leadership skills, uh, motivating others. They want to be outside, they enjoy those types of roles. That's what our job is every day. They do have that understanding of what it means to do ready mobilizations and be prepared. Responsibility, they know how to work under pressure, under stress, they have a sense of duty. And not only were there jobs, there are also agencies that are meant to help veterans by providing them with unique services. We can provide services to help someone finish their GED, um, any form of adult basic education to improve skills for employment. Helping people uh, develop resumes and finding a potential on the job training site. Job fairs like these happen often in the cities, but this was the first one in Grand Rapids. Organizers say there's a good chance it will not be the last. Statewide, it's a fantastic initiative to uh, bring about these career fairs and career workshops for veterans and get the interests of those veterans. Being here in Grand Rapids is uh, reaching out to rural Minnesota. Uh, in the cities you might see more events like this, uh, but, but here in rural Minnesota it's a little bit more difficult for veterans to attend. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. The DNR Yellow Ribbon Committee hopes to bring another veterans career fair, this time to Bemidji in the near future. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.